My girlfriend just told me that she slept with multiple guys when we were seeing each other, but she used to drop hints like calling me her man and acting jealous when I talked about any other girl the entire time. I feel used. Am I wrong to break up with her over this? I am a 30 M and my GF a 29 F have been dating for two years now. I recently took my GF on a getaway weekend. Nothing fancy, just a four-day weekend to the Hilton Hotel going on fun outings. She mentioned she wanted to do like ice skating, dancing, painting, and other fun activities. I am in love with this beautiful woman. Before we started dating, we worked at the same job together and been friends for a long time. I soon grew a crush on her because she was so cool to talk to and be around. I was also friends with her ex-BF. They'd been broken up for a year or two by the time I started liking her. And I wanted to ask the ex-BF since we were friends would it be okay if I asked her on a date. He said absolutely and had no problems with me and her possibly dating one another. A day later, I asked her to a drive-in theater movie and she said yes. And after that first movie date, we made the drive-in theater our weekend thing and we would also go out to eat or to comic conventions and anywhere we spend time together. One day, I wanted to make it official so I asked would she like to be my GF. She said she wanted to remain just friends. Although hurt a little, I was absolutely fine with her decision we still continued our weekend movie nights and outings. But every once in a while she would show signs that she liked me. She wouldn't let any other talk to me or if I mentioned a girl I thought was cute she would say under her breath, she better stay away from my man. So catching these hints I stopped talking to other girls and didn't bother to ask any girl out thinking she wanted to go out with me. I asked her to be my GF again but again she said she just wanted to be friends. A few weeks later she would quit the job we worked at together and find a new job but we would still hang out on the weekends. One day I was out running errands and saw her on a date with someone. I didn't approach them of course. But I have a rule not to go out to movies or any date like activities with a girl who has a BF or is dating in respect for the BF. So I stopped inviting her on our weekend hangouts without telling her why. She didn't mind because her attention was on the other guy. I wanted to give her and the guy I thought she was dating their space. Three months passed of us not texting or hanging out and out of the blue she texted me asking could we hang out to catch up and chat. I said yes of course and we did after that. We started hanging out again going to the movie together and she would come over my place almost every day and we would watch movies there until 12 or 1am. And once again she would drop hints that she liked me but I wasn't going to ask her out a third time just in case I was wrong. If she liked me she would have to ask me out. And after four months she finally did. I said yes almost immediately. Which brings us to her telling me after our weekend getaway away that the entire time we were hanging out before we got together she was dating and sleeping with other guys. And around the time I asked her ex-BF if I could date her they were still sleeping together while we was going on to the drive-in theaters and spending the weekends together. Even during the months of her coming over my place and hanging out until midnight after the three-month gap of us not talking she was still sleeping with other guys. She told me she didn't want any other girls talking to me because she liked me the entire time we was hanging out she just wasn't ready for a relationship. But once she went to her new job she jumped into a four-month relationship. Even the night before she asked me to be her BF she went on a date and slept with a guy and she was hoping for a second date with him but he ghosted her. She told me she liked that I was nice to her but wanted to sleep with someone without any attachment which is why she slept with other guy while hanging out with me. I'm the beginning of the relationship she told me she danced with other dudes at the club while out with friends, kisses a guy and would get in random dudes cars when she needed a ride. So am I wrong here for wanting to break up with her after finding out she used me and making me her last resort? Relevant comments. YTA nice, good women make decisions that seem crazy and weird to us, we as men just gotta accept that. She didn't cheat on you, she didn't lie to you, she said she wanted to be friends and that's what happened. Relax. She was getting her whole phase out of her system, now she's ready to commit. Don't ruin a good thing by letting doubt creep into your mind. You weren't the last resort my dude, it looks to me like you were the goal and she just took the long way around. Seems like she might have been unsure of herself and that's not your fault or hers really. She had time to process, things went your way, now enjoy it my guy. Opie. But she purposefully kept other girls from talking to me and me from talking to them while she was sleeping with other guys. Comment. Both of y'all are in the wrong. Mainly her. But when she said no the first time and then the second, honey, don't ask again. She for the streets, why would you continue to pine and waste time if you've been told no? She's in the wrong for stringing you along and being overprotective of you when like she said y'all aren't dating. Opie. I only asked the second time because of the hints she was dropping. We hung out as friends and she would invite me to out and called it dates. Comment. You guys were hanging out and not hooking up or anything that whole time and she was just out doing her thing. Get away from this girl, she's as toxic as they come. I dealt with something similar but I was getting laid at least lol but when I found out she was still talking to her ex I was done. Opie, yes we never hooked up. She told me she felt comfortable around and never felt pressured into sleeping with me. Sleeping with her was the last thing on my mind. I just wanted to be her BF. Comment. Why would she even tell you all of this? To humiliate you? She probably wants you to break up with her or do some big valiant fight for her. And that's some nice friend you have not mentioning he was still sleeping with her when you wanted to ask her out. I think you already know you are NTA. Opie. She felt guilty and throughout the relationship she would say she don't deserve me but I thought she was saying that. But she told all of this explaining why she feels like she don't deserve me.
comment. Was your girlfriend ever really your girlfriend? You say that you've been dating this girl for two years now, except for a few months you weren't because you saw her out in public on a date with someone and you wanted to give her and this guy their space. Did you ever sit down with her and discuss your relationship? Did you ever say to her, Hey, girlfriend, I like you a lot. I'd like for us to be exclusive, and I'd like to start referring to you as my girlfriend. To me, your post reads like you thought the two of you were dating, but she thought that you were just really good friends who hung out with each other a lot. Opie, I saw her out on a date with someone before we became a couple. I gave her her space because I didn't want the BF or whoever she was dating at the time to think anything was going on between us. Out of respect for him. After that, there was a gap when we didn't text each other and I wasn't going to text because I thought she had a BF. She texted me and we started hanging out again and four months into that she asked me to be her BF. Comment. YTA. You're a big fucking asshole, OP. Can't a girl sleep with others and date other people just because you liked her? She also mentioned clearly that she isn't interested in you right now when you've asked her to be your girlfriend. You should have given her space and let her figure it out. When she finally figured out you're the one, she asked you to be her boyfriend. That means she trusts you. She also let you know about all the things she did while you were friends because she's comfortable sharing them with you. When she did, all you wanted to do was break up with her just because she didn't let you be the first in her pants. If you're so fucking insecure about her previous flings, you should have made it known earlier to her. Not when she became your girlfriend. Anyways, you're a big asshole. I hope she finds someone who loves her for who she is rather than judging her. You will too find someone who is as bigoted as you and has a regressive mindset. Opie. She could have absolutely dated and sleep with anyone, but the entire we were friends. She would call me her man, or keep other girls from talking to me. When I would tell her another girl is cute or another girl is interested in me, she would say, Don't they know you're my man? She would also say, I'm only texting one man right now, and that's you, sir. She purposefully made sure I stayed single, that is my concern. Comment. YTA, you should show the same respect. You show the men you stumble upon to the women you want to date. You deserve what you get for asking ex-man friends for permission instead of talking to her like the person she is and ask her or find out what she wants. You are an enormous asshole. Leave the girl and any future girl alone. Opie. I asked the ex-BF because I wanted to make sure they were separated and he told me they were. And I even asked her if she was single and she said yes. But they both were still sleeping with each other and going date to movies and etc. Keeping me in the dark. Comment. Just playing devil's advocate here. But it sounds a little bit like she didn't want to date you at first because she was already with someone else and didn't want to be a cheater. Sometimes it's hard to leave bad relationships even when you like someone else. So that's a possibility. Maybe she always liked you but was trapped in other relationships or just scared to make the leap. Opie. She told me the two times I asked her to be my GF she was single. Once she got her new job six weeks later on the third day of her working there. A guy approached her and started talking to her. The same day he gave her a ride home and few days after that they started dating. Update. Thank you everyone for the advice and thoughts. After a long conversation I've decided to break up with her. After asking what was her thought process in using and stringing me along for so long, she told me she simply wanted to have her cake and eat it. Also I am no longer friends with her XBF. I was asked why would I ask her XBF would it be okay to ask her on date. He and I was close friends in our early 20s. Out of respect for him I wanted to make sure it wouldn't be awkward to see his friend and XGF together. I also asked my XGF why did she reach out to me after the two months I gave her and the guy she was dating space. She told me she was curious on what I was up to and missed hanging out. She stopped talking to that guy she met at her new job months before she reached out. But a few weeks after she reached out to me she slept with him again. She said she was in fact using me for the type of attention I was giving her. Most of the guys she slept with tricked her into sleeping with them that too unprotected or having her by the hotel rooms. There has been times when she sent a nude to another one of my best friends and wanted to sleep with another friend of mine only because she gave her a compliment and she never been hit on by a woman. And she only asked me out because she was tired of being used and sleeping with random people and knew I wasn't going to use her like they did. But in the end, I couldn't stay with someone who couldn't respect me from the start. Thank you for listening and helping. Second story. My girlfriend is accusing me of causing her a full-blown PTSD crisis and tells me I am controlling because I said I can't accept her going on vacation alone with her guy friends. Am I wrong here? So I was dating a woman. I broke up with her over this about a month ago. For a bit and fell really deeply in love with her. She was perfect in almost every way and I really enjoyed and cherished the time we spent together. She told me she has guy friends, which I don't really care about at all. But then she hits me with this. We travel and go on vacation together sometimes. I told her I don't care if she has friends who are guys, but going out and doing things alone with them, including things such as vacations, is not something I'm willing to accept with a woman I have a relationship with. She then freaks out and suggests I'm trying to control her, and that I don't trust her. I explained that I do trust her at the moment, but I don't trust men. Later on, 
She texts me that she's in a full-blown PTSD crisis because I'm trying to control her like her ex-husband. I explain I'm not trying to control her, and she has her own choices to make, but I can't accept her going on vacations with other men and stand firm on my boundaries. She then accuses me of crossing her boundaries. Then she shifts to explaining that she sometimes goes to tech conferences with other men, a totally different story from what she explained earlier about going on vacations with another woman's husband, and she's totally okay with it because they trust each other 100%. Then she says they don't share a hotel or anything, they just meet up at conferences. This is a different story because they apparently did share the same hotel, even if it wasn't the same room. I'm not jealous of the vacationing ability. I make a lot more money than both her and her friend combined, so that's something we could do, but she still wants to go on those vacations with guy friends. This stuff all happened before I met her, but at this point I no longer had any trust in her due to mounting red flags, and the value of a relationship with her in my eyes dropped considerably. So I call off the relationship respectfully and leave, and apparently I caused her some serious PTSD trauma, and I'm an asshole. Am I wrong here? Relevant comments. Are we talking about conferences or vacations? Meeting up with male friends at conferences is normal and acceptable, to me. Going on vacation, on the other hand, is unusual and the sort of thing that inherently is going to cause suspicion. Vacationing alone with another man is intimate. Attending a conference isn't. Opie. I don't care about conferences at all or the male friends and I explain this. The problem I have is like her going to actual vacations with another dude. No, just no. Comment. Right, you are being reasonable and her subsequent stories aren't adding up. That makes it all the more suspicious. If you're not wanting her vacationing with other men is too controlling to her and she can't see why you are uncomfortable with that then she's killing the deal. Most people would ask that their spouse not vacation alone under the circumstances. She may need to find someone who is open to such conduct and maybe who is open to open relationships. Her overreaction and possible lying might be PTSD related, but that doesn't mean it's something you want to live with. Opie. For me, this was the only real deal breaker. I could have dealt with her PTSD and the many problems she has and do my best to protect her and make her feel safe. But I don't want to get to the point where we have kids and she's asking to go on a vacation with some dude. I can't accept it at all. It just makes me very uncomfortable. Despite my very strong feelings for her, I felt like I'd be in bigger trouble down the road if I ignored these red flags. It really hurt, but I feel like I did the right thing. Comment. I would ask her if she would be comfortable if you went on vacations with other single women. She would probably say, sure, no problem, but I guarantee she would be pissed. Opie. I did ask, and she spent a month telling me she expects me to cheat on her every week and kept having panic attacks about it. Comment. Did you ask to come along on one of these hypothetical vacations before they became conferences? I've seen a few comments where people have rolled their eyes at the general immaturity here, saying boys and girls can be friends. And they absolutely can. But, I need private trips with just a guy friend, should still be suspect enough that they work through them with you. Opie. No, she stated it's something they do by themselves, alone, with no one else. I was sketched out by that. Update. I know a lot of y'all said things like, she's crazy, she sounds nuts, etc. Honestly, I don't believe she is crazy. Mental health is a serious issue and we shouldn't ostracize those who are sick. While I do know she had mental health problems, I do as well. We both suffered from PTSD, and I believe that yes, she is telling me the truth about having PTSD. Do I think she's weaponizing it? Maybe, but it didn't seem like a conscious effort. She did try to manipulate me several times, but I chalked this up to her being very insecure and we actually talked through it maturely. She is a beautiful and genuine person, both inside and out, but we aren't compatible. I've had enough experience with girls who date guy friends to set this as a boundary for myself to avoid women like that. I need to be with someone who has enough agency to realize it's not a great idea to be vacationing with other straight men while in a committed relationship if the other partner is not comfortable with it. Look, everyone has problems and nobody is perfect. She is free to live her life the way she wants, and I am free to do the same with my own life. I wish her the best, and I really hope she finds her other half.